I want to make an announcement. This race is going into overtime and we're going to win it. And I'm excited. I really am. As you know, I have the most conservative record in the Texas Senate of anyone in this race. And in these days leading up to the runoff on May 27th, I'm going to keep telling the story of our amazing state, which is the envy of the rest of the country. And I'm honored that some 10 years ago, you hired me to help lead this state through this incredible decade of economic expansion. But keep in mind, you can't have opportunity without freedom and liberty. That's why this veteran of the United States Air Force and of the CIA, and that's me, <laughs> has been fighting since day one to preserve our God-given liberties and freedoms. You know, we're living in the middle of the Texas miracle, and together we can all keep it going and growing. I feel a gale force wind right behind my back as I go in. Over the next four years, I want to keep this state moving forward, keep it conservative, keep it growing. I want to secure our southern border. I've been working on it for seven years, and I want to shut it down once and for all and keep fighting to defend the definition of marriage as one man and one woman, and I put that into the Texas Constitution. I want to keep fighting to protect the health of women, and this past year we made a record investment in the health of women and protect the lives of the unborn. I have the most conservative record, and I want to keep this state conservative, Republican, growing, and number one in jobs and opportunities for you and your children for generations to come. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking this evening. I can, I, I can sense it. You're thinking, David, I'm having so much fun this evening. Let's do this again on the night of May 27th. <laughs> Let's be very clear about something. Let's be very clear. The credit for tonight's victory goes to the grassroots Tea Party, conservatives, grassroots conservatives. There was an article today in Washington, someone told me, they said the Tea Party was dead yeah. in Texas. As John Wayne would say, that'll be the day. The Tea Party is alive and well. Everywhere, people took me under their arm and said, Dan, I'm gonna help you win this election. And they stood with us because we said we were a Christian first, a conservative second, and a Republican third. The values found in the Old and the New Testament, the Judeo-Christian ethic that this country was based upon, is what people still yearn for. But people stood with me also because we were right on the issues. Secure the border. Lower their property taxes. Improve our education system and pass school choice. Improve our infrastructure. And rule as conservatives. The glory tonight goes to God. The glory goes to God. God. I look forward to the coming months. I look forward to being the strongest ally that our next governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, ever had on the campaign trail. Texas and America is looking for bold leaders. Bold leadership. The type of bold leadership that Ted Cruz has taken to Washington the type of bold leadership we need in the office of the Lieutenant Governor. The type of bold leadership that Ronald Reagan brought to us. This is why people from all over this country are coming to Texas. Because conservative values are alive and well. Conservative principles are alive and well. And we govern as conservatives. And we're going to continue to govern as conservatives. And we will never let the Democrats take the state of Texas from us.